Hello and welcome to this section of Calculus Extra Practice with Integration. We're going to continue working with integrals that end up involving logarithms in their answer. So that at some point along the way we're going to have an integral of 1 over x or 1 over u if we're doing substitution. So let's just do a few more of these guys and just get the hang of how to, how to handle them. Uh, you know, with practice comes confidence. So let's just do that right here. So what if we have integral of 1 over x minus 1 dx? All right, so obviously it's not exactly in a form that we know how to integrate. So let's go ahead and try a substitution. The only thing that we could even try would be substituting for the bottom. And by the way, if we substitute this for u, we know the derivative of this bottom part is just going to be 1. And we don't really need to cancel anything else, so that actually might work out great. So just thinking ahead sometimes can help you. du with respect to x is just 1, because the integral of that's just 1. I'm sorry, the derivative of that's just 1. dx will then equal du. So then we have enough information to go ahead and substitute in. So we'll have the integral of 1 over this we define to be u. dx is just du. So it's a very, very simple substitution that we can do. And the integral of 1 over u, what is the answer to that? It's the natural logarithm of u plus a constant. But we don't want to circle that as our answer because we have to substitute in what we know u to be. u is x minus 1 plus a constant. Okay, So that's the final answer. Natural log of x minus 1 plus a constant. So you know we just have to do a substitution, see where it lands, and then use everything that we've learned up to this point to handle it. Now let's look at something where we have a cancellation. What if we have uh, integral of x cubed over x to the fourth power minus 4 dx? So we immediately start looking for a substitution and we say, well, what if we set the bottom equal to u? If the bottom is equal to u, then we'll get 4 times x to the third power. The derivative of that is 0, so it doesn't count, doesn't help us. But the derivative of the bottom here is 4x cubed, and that's almost exactly what we have in the top. We have an x cubed in the top. So it's a very good bet that that is the correct substitution. So we have u is equal to x to the fourth minus 4. du with respect to x is 4x cubed. So then dx is equal to 1 over 4x cubed du, like this. And you know, I know it's painful, but you have to write all this stuff down so you don't get confused. So what we'll have is, we'll have the integral of x cubed over, this stuff just resolves to u because that's our substitution. dx is 1 over 4x cubed du, like this. All right, and then we cancel our x cubes with our x cubes. And then finally what we're going to have is the 1 fourth is going to come out of the integral, integral 1 over u du. And now we know that the integral of 1 over u is, so we have 1 fourth natural log absolute value of u plus a constant. So that's basically the answer, but we need to back substitute whatever we figured out or what we substituted in the first place. u was x to the fourth minus 4 plus a constant. So the answer to this integral is 1 fourth natural log absolute value of x to the fourth minus 4 plus a constant. So you're really doing the same techniques you've always been doing, but if you get down to a point where you have an integral of 1 over u, now you know how to do that.